Hey, so as I get a little bit deeper into this video, I just want to let you all know that I'm not trying to single out any one particular uh, glass manufacturer or lens manufacturer. I collect a lot of lenses. I test a lot of lenses. Uh, the manufacturer of the lenses and the glasses put out some data, usually with a plus minus percentage. So I just want to see how accurate that plus minus percentage is. And I do test a lot of these lenses. So uh, I'm not just picking on anyone or I'm not just trying to enhance anyone. I just something I do because I'm a little geeky like that. Two, three. Right. Okay, good morning, it's James White and I'm sitting out here on my porch. It's about 7.15 and I wanted to do a bit of an early test this morning with the um, seven eye dark shift lens. Uh, and I wanted to do it, it's overcast, it's early in the morning, but I just wanted to make sure everybody was very secure with this lens to be used at pretty much any time of day. And I'm just going to take this dark shift lens, I'm going to slip it right down in front of the camera, and any changes are negligible um, at this hour of the morning. So I'm going to wait till a little bit later this afternoon, see if the sun comes out, and we'll do a second take, and see how that goes. And be happy to uh, give you some more information. It'll help you be a better salesperson with the 7i product. So once again, that was the dark shift lens at about 7.15 this morning. All right, talk to you soon. Bye now. One, part two, two three. Okay, so now it's uh, getting to be about 8.30, and the good news is, at uh, 8.15, the good news is it's still remaining a little overcast, so the visibility isn't all that great this early in the morning. Um, and this is, uh, yesterday it was really sunny when I was doing these tests, and the lens acted very predictably. So I wanted to see how it worked when it was overcast. So I'm going to slide the lens down in front of the camera again. It's about 8.15 in the morning. I don't see any discernible difference. Still got clear, still got a good path going forward. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and then we will do a retest here as soon as the sun comes out. It's projecting yeah, around 10:30 11 this morning. Um, I'm sorry, segment three. Well, my testing didn't go quite the way I wanted it to this morning because it was kind of overcast. But even with the overcast, the uh, the dark shift lens was able to get down to about 24% light transmission. Uh, and I'm going to put that in front of the lens right now, give you an idea. Well, you can really look at the sky, and then when I drop it in front of it, look at the contrast you get in the sky. It looks fabulous. So once again, uh, I have this on aperture priority, so when I put the lens in front of it, the aperture will change to try to see better through the lens, just like your eye would. But boy, look at that contrast in the sky. It looks fabulous. Okay, so that's at about 24% light transmission, and we are at approximately 10.30 in the morning. Looks like the sun's trying to come through. I'll see how dark the lens gets, um, and I will keep doing a test for it. Okay, bye. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the sun to become more pronounced, I've got a couple of fixed tint lenses, means they're non-photochromatic and they don't change. So I want to go through these really quickly so you get an idea. And I'm trying to be consistent with what I'm showing because I've got some blue sky, I've got some green foliage, I've got some shadows. So I kind of want you to see everything involved in what you may see when you're on the bike riding. And the first lens I'm going to do is going to be a non-polarized copper tint. And it tests out at 15% light transmission. And that is just a regular copper lens, okay? Um, now I'm going to do polarized gray, and this is about 14.1 14 14 .1 light transmission. That's a percentage of light that it allows to come through. 
Now, that looks pretty nice. The one thing you will notice on this is I have my camera set on aperture priority. Um, so what's going to happen, the same thing that happens to your eye. Once you put a dark substrate in front of your eye, the eye will start to open up to try to see through it. So there is a certain point of no return that you get with tints, and it's around 13%. Anything darker than 13%, uh, generally the eye will just open up, uh, or the aperture behind the lens will just open up to see through it. So the next one is smoke lens, and I was surprised because this came in at 12% in a regular gray smoke lens. And if you notice, when I first put it in front of it, you get a lot of contrast in the sky, and then the aperture opens up and it starts to fade out just a little bit. Okay, and then the last lens I'm going to test is polarized copper, and it is at about 13.8% in the polarized copper. And those are four fixed tint lenses, and as soon as it's dark enough, I'll give you a wrap-up on the dark shift lens from 7i. Last segment. Okay, so it's getting to be about 11.30. The sun has come out pretty well, and the last test I want to do is the dark shift. And there is a little bit of humidity and a little bit of haze in the air, so I can only get it down to about 12% light transmission. But once again, it looks pretty fabulous when you go in front of the aperture. Um, really gives you nice blues, nice greens, really picks up the contrast in the shadows. So I just want to basically go through this. The other light that you're seeing is just arbitration light between the lens and my camera lens. So this is a wrap. That's the dark shift. And this is at about a 12% light transmission during the daylight hours.